Many ferries and ships on Lake Constance visit the town of Constance. At the harbor, visitors are greeted by the nine meter high statue, Imperia. This is where we meet Gabi Hauptmann. The best selling German author grew up locally and is a huge fan of the town. I love Lake Constance and particularly Constance because the place has a Mediterranean flair and the people are usually in a good mood. They also know a bit about pleasure and culture. There's culture to explore in every corner of the historic old town, one of the best preserved in Germany. It is rich in medieval architecture. The paintings on the old facades tell the story of life in bygone eras. This plain-looking 14th-century building played an important role in the town's history. In this building on November 11, 1417, Martin V became the only pope ever to be elected in a conclave held north of the Alps. Afterwards, a window was opened and voices called out, the pope has been elected. Der Papst ist gewählt. The cathedral is situated in the center of the old town. Built in the Middle Ages, it was the center of the Diocese of Constance for many centuries, which at the time was the largest in the German-speaking world. Inside, you can find artworks from different eras. Constance Cathedral is basically a Roman pillar basilica from the 11th century. Through the ages, it was updated to suit to the style of the current era. Here we can see Gothic aspects, as well as Renaissance and Baroque. The oldest part of Constance is the so-called Niederburg. Many of the houses here still bear their old medieval names. This district used to be home to the bishop's servants. Today, it is full of boutiques and wine bars. One of the most well-known is the Niederburg wine bar. It serves six different local wines, including a dry Riesling. Wine growing has a long tradition in Constance. The town's vineyard is 800 years old. It produces around 60,000 liters of red and white wine every year. The wine is pressed in the historic wine cellar. Here we have very delicious or stony soil, and that gives the wines their own character. They're rich in minerals, and because of the clay content here in Constance, they're very strong. The nearby island of Mainau can also be reached by car. The 45-hectare island is home to some 5,000 different species of plants and flowers. Particularly worth visiting in summer is the Rose Garden, which dates back to the 19th century. We have 400 different types of roses in our rose garden, including rose bushes and climbing roses. The actual idea came about in 1856 when the first rose was planted. Since then, this rose garden has always been tended and cared for, and there is always a lovely scent when you come here in the morning. You really can't get enough of it. The most popular restaurant on the island is the Schwedenschenke. Its menu includes typical German dishes. The perfect place to end a visit to Constance.